Today is Tuesday, January the 19th, 2010, and we're going to make distortion and output measurements on this Pioneer SA9900 integrated amplifier, which is listed on eBay at this time. This is the way it's set up. It's set up to auxiliary one, where we have our input, feeding both channels at once. So we're going to drive both channels at the same time. This is a 600 ohm termination. So we get the lowest distortion from our oscillator. We have it hooked to channel A speakers which are, is a dummy load. We follow it over here to two 200 watt dummy loads that we can switch back and forth. This output right here goes to our test equipment. Our test equipment is a Tektronix SG505 oscillator, AA501 distortion analyzer, and an auto-ranging digital multimeter, and we're watching it on an old Tektronix 485 oscilloscope, and this is our frequency output right here. As you can see, we're not driving it, but if we start, oh, we're also testing it at 120 volts input from the mains. As we start to crank it up, We see our output increasing. We're going to run it up to about 30 volts. There we go, 30.1 volts. .08% distortion. Our frequency, which I tried to set right at a kilohertz, ends up being 977 hertz. We can raise that a little bit. Get it a little bit closer to one kilohertz. But that's close enough. Not going to change much of anything. There's the 30.1 volts, 0.08% distortion. There's a beautiful sine wave. There's the left channel. And there's the right channel. 29.6% uh, voltage virtually the same thing. Power output is the voltage squared divided by 8. 0.01% distortion. 1002 cycles. There's our output. This is at 1 kilohertz. 30 volts squared is 900 divided by 8. 900. 900. Enter 8. Divide is 112.5 watts. That's what it puts out on both channels at a very, very low distortion. Let's go back to the left channel just for the fun of it. Put 0.08% on the left channel. Put 0.009 or 0.01 percent on the right channel at 1 kilohertz. Very good. Turn the volume down. We're going to go to 20 hertz. And start this again. Hoping our oscillator cranks up. That's what it's supposed to do. There we go. There you go. 20 hertz. Just our oscilloscope. We're going to run it back up to 30 volts. There we go. 30 volts seems to be right at the threshold. As long as we're right below 30, if you can see these numbers, well, at 30 volts, we got it's fluctuating a little bit. Let's run it just a little bit below that, 29, and all of a sudden it just really gets nice. Now it's jumping around a little bit, and what we see here at the very bottom of 
of the sine wave, we see it every once in a while a little glitch. Little tiny glitches right at the very bottom. I've seen this happen in a lot of transistor amplifiers. That's what makes our distortion jump around like that. So if we run it down a little bit lower, say to 28.6, there we go, now it's stabilized at 0.01%. 28.6 volts. If we square that, 28, 28.6, divide it by 8, we get 102 watts. That's one channel. There's the other channel. Very good. And we don't see the little anomaly at the bottom of the of the sine wave. So our distortion is not jumping around badly. What zero eight? It's holding up very well. Check our resistor. Yes, they are hot. Turn it back down. Now we're going to go to 20 kilohertz. Give our oscillator a few seconds to catch up. Let's start cranking it up. There we go. There's our frequency up there. 19,988. Let's raise it ever so slightly. Get it. There it is. 20,062. Expand out our, our sine wave. Give it a little bit more output and our sine wave should sink right in. We've got to watch our voltage so we don't way over exceed. There we are, 29.6 volts. We're back to, to the 100 plus mark. There's its distortion, 0.05%. Beautiful sine wave. On the left channel. Let's go to the right channel. Sine wave. 0.04 percent, 29 volts. Very, very nice. 20 kilohertz to 20, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Excellent. Let's go back to the amplifier, examine it. Nice panel. Uh, ever the slightest of markings right there. Very slightest of a mark right there. I don't know if it can be seen on this camera or not. There it is. The old Pioneer SA9900 made back in the 70s. Still doing a great job.